two. <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to talk about life and death. Now, at the end of this video, I in the middle, blah, 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 this quiet, you already know how I rock it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to play this song that my homie Mac Rilla made. Shout out to Mac, shout out to Sean, same person, man, you already know who I'm talking to. It's the song, um, uh, I'm trying to, let me look at it, uh, it's called, hold on, let me get this. But the song about Mike Brown, Eric Gardner, and Trayvon Martin, how they got shot down and stuff, it's called Man Down. I'm playing for y'all at the end, but I'm just giving my thoughts on um, life and death. Now, this is what I feel about life and death. Now, this is going to be my words of the day, but I'm going to say this right now, too. Like, in a song, my homie Matt was like this. Some people tell the truth, some people tell lies. I don't know why, but we all gotta die. So when I heard that, I think about that. Like, I think about life and death, and I think about people that die, and I think about the people that's born. A lot of people say they had relatives that died, or people they knew that died, or like somebody's family member they knew that died. They say they always meet somebody. They say they always meet somebody to remind them of that person. See, that could be reincarnation, that could be angels, that could be whatever you want to call it. My homie Sean was telling me the other day, yesterday, matter of fact, he was saying how he helped somebody in Walmart. He said, as soon as he went outside, some man walked up to him and said, God seen what you did, so here you go, and gave him $10. You don't know give what I'm saying? Basically, he said, my homie Sean said he helped somebody in need. Like somebody was in need in Walmart. So he gave him a couple of dollars, right? He said, as soon as he walked outside, a man walked up to him and said, God, just seen what you did. And he said, what? He said, the man said again, God seen what you did and gave Sean, my homie, $10. And he said, as soon as he looked back, the dude was gone. Those are angels, bro. This shit exists. Those are angels. Those are angels, bro. This shit is real. That's what I'm saying. Like, when he said that, he got chills up my spine. Somebody know what the fuck I'm talking about. This stuff is real now. My birthday tomorrow, you already know I'm rocking, man. I have to say that, you already know how I go. But anyway, the way I feel about life and death is like this. A person, when a person dies, right, it's because they reached a certain amount of enlightenment. This is my opinion on it, because people be killed, like shot down, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, I say, me personally, I say it could be ha it could happen because, you know, you got portals open up and blah, blah, blah. But I'm talking about spiritual level i feel that when people pass away it's because no matter what age but let's just say for example when people pass away at an old age i feel when people pass away at an old age it's that because they reached a certain enlightenment level and they got that enlightenment for that life right so when they being born again or reincarnated or incarnated when they being born again that past life is already in their memory bank so they always come back with a certain amount of enlightenment so when they born again, they're supposed to learn something different. Like every time you're born, you're supposed to learn something differently every time. Because when you die, you learn something new. You learn something new every day, but you get what I'm saying. Like when you die, you learn what you're supposed to learn in that life that you live. And when you're born again, you're supposed to learn something new. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's called past lives, reincarnation. Because every time you die and you be reborn again, you come back with a certain amount of enlightenment, but you're supposed to learn something new every time you have a new life. Me, I'm 19. Sometimes I still think about it. It's going to be 20 tomorrow. <laughs> but sometimes I think about it like I'm still young. So I was just born. I ain't going to say I was just killed like 19 years ago. I'm not going to say nothing like that or passed away. But it's like I'm young. So I was just born 19 years ago. You know what I'm saying? I'll be thinking about that type of stuff. It's like, but a lot of people don't remember their past lives because the hospitals cut the umbilical cord as soon as they born. They sniff it. They don't want you to come back with their universal knowledge. But people like people are always saying about some, how you know this stuff. Don't worry about how I know something. Just think about it. As soon as you're born, they just snip your umbilical cord. So I don't get no air. I can't breathe. Nothing. So you just snip. You know what I'm saying? People don't think about that. They only do that because they're supposed to. Okay, if the, if the hospitals or the doctors supposed to do that, right? They're supposed to snip your umbilical cord, umbilical cord that quick. How come when animals are born? Their book, of course, still be connected to their mother, so they come back with their past life information. But well, we're not animals. We're mammals. We're homo sapiens. You know how people be saying we're not animals. But we're still enlightened species that have umbilical cords, like animals have umbilical cords. 
You know what I'm saying? As a dancer without, as a blood so below. You know what I'm saying? So my umbilical cord gets snipped so quick. Okay, you don't believe that? How come? How come? Um, doctors take a hypocritical oath not to serve you poisons, but they give you pills. But you ain't gonna listen to that though, cause you scared of that real shit. You know what I'm saying? Simply designer all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? This not regular Fiji water. This designer water. That sun water. Check out my song. Me and my homie Leech Ruckus made our single. Design the water, you know what I'm saying? Radio Joe featuring Leech Ruckus is on SoundCloud. That's the rough draft, aka the hood version. We made a so called industry version, like a more cleaner version. Still in that hood shit, but it's more of a cleaner version. But it sounds better. It's been mixed down. It's completely done. The video should be coming out tomorrow on my birthday. So be looking out for that. You feel what I'm saying? If it don't come on my birthday, it's going to be coming out very soon. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to drop nothing. Too quick, cause you know what I'm saying. I ain't really the Russian type, but I am the Russian type. You know what I'm saying? So be on the lookout for that. The video go hard. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, like motherfuckers finna be damn. And when you see the video, share, 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 share. I don't care if you don't watch it, just hit the share button. All right? Now, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't believe that, you know what I'm saying? Go do your research. They say we're gonna give you an oath not to sell you poisons, but they give you pills. That's killing you. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like. Just thinking, hold on real quick. Okay, nigga, six minutes into it. All right, now look. I'm going to play this song that my homie Magrilla made. You know what I'm saying? Um, Him and his cousin, this shit go hard. You know what I'm saying? It actually touched me. I want y'all to just listen to it. I don't know if y'all may be able to hear this. The shit be tweaking, but y'all should be able to. I might just play a little bit of it just for you to get a taste of it. But this shit's some sad shit, but it's deep. You ready? Are you ready for it? All right, come on. snippet of it, you know what I'm saying, because this the camera be tweaking, you know what I'm saying, like, it be tweaking to be shutting up, I don't want it to shut off, but, just think about what I say, man, because I know something, I obviously know something, you feel what I'm saying, but, hey, I don't know nothing either, you know what I'm saying, so, just listen to the message, you know what I'm saying, like, listen to the message, like Tupac said, wait, who did Tupac say that, yeah, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice, or something like that, look at skin, my eyes, like, just look at dark, my skin, man. I didn't get to choose my pigmentation. You didn't get to choose your pigmentation either. You know what I'm saying? Words of the day for today is some people tell the truth. Some people tell lies. I don't know why, but we all got to die. You know what I'm saying? What that means is you might tell a lie. I might tell the truth. You may tell the truth. I may tell a lie. But what's the point? We all got to die. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't like on no hopeless stuff like that. Forget it, we get all of them die. They ain't like that. Like I said, every time you die, you reach the enlightenment level. So it's time for you to go to that next level. You know what I'm saying? So you can be born back here on this earth. That's if you choose to come back. I chose to come back. If you're living in the same experience I'm living in, as in living in 2015, aka 2007, you chose to come back. Some people reincarnated back because they had to come back, came back karmatic back. Some of us had to come back and pick karmatic back for our ancestors. Real shit. That's why you need to be your soul rate. And don't try to rush to be 
level I'm at, you know what I'm saying? The step by step process. I didn't reach this enlightenment level off of waking up early all my life. No, it don't work like that. When I was coming into this enlightenment stuff, I was just getting out of a bad relationship and I couldn't shake that shit. And then, like, four years I passed by and I still was depressed about the same girl. You know what I'm saying? But once I was able to shake that, skyrocketed it. And like my level boosted, you know what I'm saying? Because that was a test by the answer to see if I could overcome it. But I overcame that at a young age. But, hey, what do I know? I'm just a nigger, right? No, I'm a nigga. I serve king, nigga. Because nigga really means kings. You can capital C's and talking about that. But nobody wants to listen. <laughs>